Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Now, first things first, I want to say a massive, massive thank you because over the past couple of days, if you follow my Instagram account, you will notice that I put up a post the other day that was just a picture of the channel, just a screenshot of the channel, and it had 49 subscribers written underneath that subscriber amount. I put out a post <laughs> basically saying, look, if we can get to 50, then that would be a massive achievement because it's something that I never thought I'd be able to reach when I started doing this only a couple of months ago. And I know 50 is not like it's a massive amount, but again, as I've said in previous videos, I never thought I'd even be able to hit like 10. Now, that's all I wanted to say on that. It was just just quick, easy. I just want to say a big, big thank you. And, and honestly, I really appreciate it. I, I appreciate every single one of you every single person who's been supporting me you know my friends my family even people just who i'm friends with on facebook <laughs> that i don't talk to anymore even people like you that have been watching these videos from start to now i really appreciate it i honestly do so thank you now today we're going to be doing something a little bit strange because I'm not a review kind of channel. <laughs> I don't want to be like a review channel, but I just wanted to put it out there that this is something that I got the other day and it's absolutely amazing. <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys what, I'm, what I got the other day and what I purchased. Now, if you've heard of the brand Edling, if I'm pronouncing that right, I think it's Edling, I'm not too sure. Um, you know that they do some tactical gear. Now, one thing that I've always wanted is a tactical shovel. I know tactical shovel it sounds weird but they are amazing pieces of kit and if you don't know what that is it is one of these <laughs> so it is a shovel that is tactical i don't know what necessarily makes it tactical i think it's just the amount of things you can do with it um but this this is brilliant this is something that i've been wanting to get for quite a while now and um yeah i've got one <laughs> so to start off with as you can obviously tell it's your general sort of shovel base now we're going to start off with the the top section here so as you can see obviously it's got your your standard shovel head uh the edges up here are actually they're not exactly uh dull but they're not sharp either so it's sort of like it's quite good for getting through tough mud uh down this side here you've got a bit of a hack edge is what i would just call it because i'm not entirely sure um, but yeah, so this is basically used so that you would mostly be able to get through um, like larger pieces of wood if you so needed to. Uh, it's got a ruler. I don't think you'd ever use a ruler while you, if you're out in like survival sort of situation. Uh, it's also got two hex nuts. Now I don't know how common these hex nuts are. However, um, they're pretty standard sizes as well. But also, as you can see this side, it's got a rope cutter, which you could use as a bottle opener if you wanted to. And just down this side here, it's also got the saw edge. Now, obviously, this would be for if you're out fishing, for instance, and you need to cut through bone or you've got meat that you need to get through, you know, that would be quite a good thing to go for. Now, this is quite sharp on this side. Uh, I have had a bit of a play with this and it does go straight through things. So going through a piece of wood that's about this deep, um, it probably went through about that far uh, with a bloody good hack out. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking like, yeah, yeah. The good thing about this as well is this little ringlet here uh, will twist and that will mean that you can angle this where you need to. So for instance, if you are intending on, for instance, either picking or if you need a hoe or you can angle it and you will have that and it is quite sturdy it's not um it's not made cheap <laughs> definitely depending on you know which ones you go for because there's a lot that so sometimes don't do this and it's just like the small shovel head is on the top and then you've got other pieces going through the middle now what i'm going to do real quick is i'm going to detach the shovel head from the uh rest of the base so i can go through what else is on this because it's pretty nifty okay so the parts just unscrew uh, from each section as so, uh, like this. Just pop that one down there. And uh, as you can see here, um, what you have on this, I'm hoping this will focus for you, um, what you have on this is a glass breaker. So for instance, if you have this in your car or you know you get trapped in your car, locked in your car and you need to get out, uh, you unscrew it, you get this nifty little glass breaker and you just bash the glass and that will crack it open nice and swiftly because the point to this uh, again I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it the point for this is really sharp it's quite 
quite a hard sort of, you know, tip, but um, it's it's very sharp, it's very good, it's very efficient, and uh, it really hurts. So uh, don't don't mess about with this. And if you unscrew the ends again, this also comes with a screwdriver. So it does come attached with the Phillips. Um, obviously, it's just sort of more standard size of a Phillips screwdriver. Uh, but you can take that middle piece out, swap it round, and so that when you are kneading your flathead, you've also got one of those. And like I said, I only got this the other day, um, so I do intend to use it, probably not as a survival piece of kit, but more just of a, uh, you know, handy to have around the house. As you can see here as well, the bottom unscrews. So what the bottom unscrews it as is a fire starter. So this is your basic sort of flint. And what this generally does is obviously, look, if you're trying to start a, uh, a little campfire or something like that, you spark it with a rock or a steel or a knife. Uh, knife edges work quite well, and um, you'll be able to uh, start your fire off quite good. Sorry about the camera glare just there. It's, yeah, so you'll be able to start your fires quite quite nice, quite easy with this. And just on the bottom, it does also have a compass that does work, uh, I might want to point out. So uh, yeah, it, it does actually work. Okay, so... It's all well and good having all these things, but it's, you know, it's another thing to be able to store it because you don't want to just have like this full blown shovel sat, you know, lying around your house. So good thing with the, the Edling shovel that I got is um, it does actually come with a, a quite, <laughs> quite a nice little carry case for it. It's really nice. It's good material, it's good quality. And I have to say, I'm, I'm quite shocked because, you know, considering the price that I paid for it. Uh, which I will reveal at the end for you guys. So I paid for the extension kit for it. So it should be, uh, I think, 73.3 centimeters or something like that. Um, however, I didn't receive the extension bar or the knife that you're supposed to get with it. It's a, it's a fillet skillet knife uh, with saw at blade edge to the bottom of it as well. So I'm currently in the process of talking with the suppliers about getting what that shipped over so that I actually have the complete order and that would probably be the only thing that I'm, I'm a bit miffed at but you know these things happen especially around these times so it's it's good that they're sorting it out now as for packing it all away as Mel has been insisting I do for quite some time now because I haven't been able to put this thing down so as I showed you you know you can just roll this down loosen it and then you'll be able to angle this wherever you need it to go so obviously you can have it flat for the hoe and you have the um the 45 degree as well but if you fold it down so it's flat they give you a little bag for it which i'm quite impressed at because they've thought of kind of everything with this they thought oh well you know you don't just want to have that clattering next to all the metal so what you do is you get this uh, the the actual shovel head you pop it in the bag so that the so that the pole is sat resting just on the other side and then you get these velcro tabs here uh you know one goes over this side over here and then let's just sort that out and then you get the other one over this side and that holds it quite nice neatly tight secure uh, considering this is going into the bag as well so this does keep it quite nice it does keep it quite contained and as for the bag itself, in the bag it does have the slot for the shovel head just here and then these are for the poles. Now with the extension pole I'm not too sure, I think that'll just have to get crammed in here somewhere. But it's nice because, you know, like I say, it's a good, strong, good quality bag and it's nice. It's got your belt loop there, it's also got this to make it a little carry bag as well. And uh, yep, the velcro is good, I've not had a problem with it, there's no tearing in any of the stitching, so it is quite a good quality piece of kit. You just place the shovel head in there, the one of the poles there, the other pole just in there, and again, like I said, as you can see just in here, you've got all of the tools nicely tight kept on their own. And boom, wrapped, done, and put away. Now I'm gonna pop a screenshot of uh, the order purchase just at the top corner on one of these sides for you to see. Now. This bag on its own, uh, like the kit, I'm positive, I'm not too sure. <laughs> Actually, I can't really remember. Uh, I'm pretty sure I paid $25.99 for it. So, f and that was on offer as well. So the fact that this costs $25.99 and it comes with so many different tools and attachments for it, I'm very, very impressed with. Um, the stitching, the quality of the bag, the actual quality of the metal work and the shovel itself, along with all the tools that are in it, is, is really quite good. 
and I, honestly if i were to give it like a sort of rating out of 10 because i haven't used it properly yet because as i say i only got this the other day um i would hands down easily be able to give this a 8 out of 10 i'd probably stretch to an 8.2 because i'm fussy but it's a very 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 good quality item and i do recommend that if you want to have something just to you know just quick to be able to get yourself out of a fix if you're in your car and you get stuck in snow or deep mud or anything like that that's quite good for you or like i said if you get trapped in the car or if you if something happens where you need to get get out or get something fixed really quick it's good to either have around your house or in your car i would not be able to comment on whether it's good in a survival situation i have seen some people where they were saying that um it you know it's broken for them like first try and and these sorts of things but they were probably one out of like 200 reviews on amazon uh where they were bad i mean the rest of them were all good they were good quality they're you know purchasable item I, i'd hands down recommend it because it's just a good fun product and um i'm not saying have fun with it because it is it does have knives in it it does contain uh, sharp objects so not necessarily giving it to your kids is a good idea however that just on its own for handy work around the house or to keep in your car if you need it it's a very good thing to have okay so if you don't follow my social media instagram account go ahead and give it a follow it's just popped up on the screen just there um it's where i'll post most updates and things that i'm going to be doing on the channel a, f a few people that have been following it will have noticed that i did put up a post about the shovel the other day so this video is actually going to be coming up for you guys i'm pretty sure on thursday and um, so for me right now it's tuesday so it gives me two days to get everything sorted for it and i'm also going to be filming another one for sunday for you guys as well because i've got a week off from work <laughs> i know i'm on holiday and quarantine it's great isn't it i was supposed to be going to download fest this year and honestly this would have been amazing other than the saw edge on it because they wouldn't have allowed that in but this would have been absolutely brilliant um so we can't go but they are televising the entire thing so that is going to be amazing to sit down and watch over this weekend but as i say follow my social media account for any of the updates that are coming as well as that, again, I'd just like to say a massive thank you to the 50 people that have decided to subscribe to this channel and help me go forward with the thing that I like doing because everything that I like doing on this channel is for you guys to watch. And I enjoy making these videos, so thank you for the support again. And I really do hope you enjoy these videos as much as I enjoy making them for you. So with everything said, that is gonna be me for the day and I will see you on Sunday this week there's two videos in one week so feel lucky feel privileged okay so thank you very much for watching if you did like it leave a like a comment and if you want to go ahead and subscribe to this channel hit the bell just next to it to be notified of any upcoming and future videos thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye